I started reading Chainsaw Man last week. Uh, I got yeah, about, yeah. I got a couple chapters in, and I was like, oh, this is interesting, and you know. Um, you know, like I said, does what it says on the tin. I decided to sit down and read a couple more. So, you know, pretty much like one night after that, finished off an Elden Ring session, uh, grabbed the mm-hmm. iPad, started flipping through, and, uh, you know, got up to get some dinner and went back and flipped through. And then noticed that as I was flipping, I hit something that said uh, end of chapters, up to date, part two, chapter two, come back next week for chapter three. I was like, oh, shit. I just read all of it in one night. And it was what? insanely easy and fast to do. I did not realize. Yeah, I've, it's not One Piece. It is not One Piece. So I'm fucking that... caught up <laughs> on Chainsaw Man. And uh, it, it also is like the type of thing that was compelling enough that I was like, ooh, I'm just going to keep going. Let's get get another volume. Uh, wow. Um, that's, yeah, that, that, it, it, it's the opposite feeling of like, like, like a JoJo part, for example, where like you're going through it and you're like, okay, we're in for the long haul and it's great, but you know that this is going to be your day, you know? Um, okay. In- so, first part is just, just ended in March or something? Here just ended that's or so. 11, 11 books. Yeah, 99 chapters oh. or so. And then there's now part two's beginning, and there are about two chapters in. Um, Ninety nine chapters. That's still quite a bit. Quite a bit that you read. It, it's like. it is quite a bit, but fortunately, like it's the type of book where, um, again, dialogue is minimum. Like action and like, you know, spreads are, like they're doing their thing. They're taking up their real estate, and even when dialogue is happening, it's very minimal. It's very simple. This is a really, like, uh, it's a very visual story. And um, yeah, yeah. and it's Flip also it. trying yeah. to keep things kind of, um, it picks a theme and it sticks with it. And it just, it's like, we're not going to get too fussy or mussy about it. You know where this is going to be the whole time. Uh, I don't know if you've seen any or heard anything about uh, Chainsaw Man, uh, Ludwig? I, 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 um, I remember when it first came out mm-hmm. and, and seeing it and being like, well, that's the thing mm-hmm. um like the over the top character look and everything and mm-hmm. and i never got to reading it but um figured i'll watch the anime when it comes out a friend is writing the music for it too so cool um definitely going to check that out it's it's like been on my radar basically yeah i think um i feel as if like the creator might have drawn something with an aesthetic that was like what if a big monster wore a suit with a tie and had that tie kind of flailing in the wind and then the head and arms were just big monster things happening and uh, kind of went and took that almost graffiti-like piece of art and then went, let's turn this into a thing, you know? Um, kind of similar to when you see like uh, like the helmet and tie in guns in PUBG or so, right? But um, that aesthetic with the tie thing comes back a good bit and you get, you get to see like people with powers and, and, and suits. It's pretty cool. I enjoy that aesthetic. Um, this fucking thing, they tell you uh, right away, they tell you this is a world that is pretty fucked up. The characters, everyone's fucked up. Everyone's crazy. Everything's kind of crazy. And it's uh, and like demons existing and people dying is just a fact of life. So you this get happens, used, man. you get used to that pacing really early, and like it trains you to kind of like stomach these kind of fucked up things right off the bat because then it just goes all in on them, and uh, like spikes it with some unbelievably sick action scenes. And there's a number of, like, it's the kind of thing we're looking at it now. I'm like, I know exactly why I want to see this animated. There is two fights that are, like, the peak of uh, this first part entirely that are hopefully going to be, like, the most brilliantly animated things about it. Um, and it's it's I'm, 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 it's a little bit like uh, to fucking go back to the 
the the the uh, the the mid aughts, the early aughts. There, it's a bit like knowing uh, Rock Lee versus Gara in Naruto is going to happen and get animated eventually, and hoping that it's going to live up to that moment, um, which I, I imagine it will, uh, because fucking unbelievable fights in this thing, super cool with the choreography and the action, um, that stands out definitely. And then uh, the fact that, like, the pencil work in the manga is also, uh, it shows through on the ink. It's, 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 they ink over incomplete pencil at certain moments. And it adds a rawness that they're going for as well that I really like. Um, so that's very strong. Characters, uh, almost universally, like I said, fucked up insane. Uh, I feel like uh, they introduce you to... You know, the, the the main character and then the extended cast as you would in anything that would be in Shonen Jump. But, like, I don't know if anything in Shonen Jump has been as bloody and as gory as this to date or if this is the most extreme with it. With a name like Chainsaw Man, you probably shouldn't expect it not to get bloody and gory. But um, you get introduced to characters... And it also, again, fully trains you to expect those characters to maybe or maybe not make it, you know? Mm. Um, so there's almost a rotating amount of like, hey, some new person showed up. Oh, there they go. What was his power? Okay, that's a cool idea. Uh, <laughs> you know, like, it, it, it constantly just has this revolving door, but, like, life is short and cheap in, in Chainsaw Man world. Um, now, what's the phrase... Short, uh, short, nasty, and brutish. Yeah, yeah, uh, definitely. And, uh, you know, in, in, in many cases, almost played for comedic effect, uh, depending on, like, what they're trying to punctuate. Um, but, like, your, your whole thing where they promise you that these, hey, warning, multiple people have the parts where the, the book stops and says, hey, warning. People are insane. Everyone in this part, in this section, in this thing, everyone's crazy, you know? And yeah. uh, you kind of go like, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. And then you get to like the, the build-up, the finale, the big thing. And again, no spoilers, but um, you're forced to stop and confront that and go, I knew it was, was going to be crazy, but this is still massively uncomfortable and kind of horrifying. In the direction it goes uh but it's not out of theme it's just it's the thing they promised you and then they deliver on it and you're left feeling massively uncomfortable but you're like i guess i only have myself to blame for like expecting it to be less than this you know uh that's the best way i guess i can put it um they uh yeah, they kind of have these characters that are set up where you get introduced to, like, this kind of serious, uh, almost rival-like, revenge-driven, uh, sword-using, special eye, kind of, uh, it's not a Sasuke. You know? Like, it's like, oh, is that a... No, it's not. You know? And then you have, like, um, uh, the, like a, a, another girl who's... Uh, uh, cutesy like klutzy but and possessed by a demon and does these weird things and acts really silly but like is she gonna no she's not played for gag she's also this insane like horrible horrible demon person that is not just about it's not just about the gag it's a, it's also like um no this is a this is truly a demon it's not a human being they're not gonna just uh keep it like at the sim at the simple uh, surface level expectation of what you'd get out of a character that uh, would otherwise be played for you know uh, uh, gags or whatever, um, mm -hmm. and then there's a main like entity character that is just like the charisma the, the charismatic like uh, 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 center of like a lot of what that that's the story is 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 about and. Um, yeah, they just they do a really good job portraying um this person as like these people that you're like you're rooting for while also realizing how awful they are. 
you know you kind of have that sort of dual feeling about a lot of the the characters you see and what's going on um fucking cool though just super cool and um goes into uh goes into some action that like I, I called up uh, our our friend um, Shmup God Pat right because he's right. also he's into uh, like Common Rider and Tokusatsu stuff and I kind of went like hey check out Chainsaw Man it does the stuff you know it it uh-huh. does some of that cool stuff as well uh, unexpectedly. What's fascinating to me is that because I know Shmup God Pat, if you had looked at me and said, Pat, it does the stuff, I may not have understood what you meant, but because you're telling me the story in the context of talking to Shmup God Pat and you're telling him what the stuff is, mm-hmm. I now know exactly what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. It does, it does, quote-unquote, the stuff. Uh, so, um, yeah, it, it's, it's just a really awesome, simple read... Uh, pick up and go journey and uh i'm i'm gonna recommend it while uh putting the asterisk down which is like uh it's it gets fucked up <laughs> it gets really fucked up everyone's well, traumatized chainsaw, man. everyone's called, horribly oh, abused despair, everyone's man. horribly abusing bad things are happening left and right it's um and then it, and it ends uh you know Ends on a bang. And then it starts Act 2, uh, which is an interesting um, thing because, yeah, I guess uh, they're going to... I like that they decided to cap off a part and, you know, whatever. That not, I'm not going to talk about anthologizing things, but there was nothing else to be said at this point, And so now we're going to perhaps move forward and see what else is going to go on in this world, you know? And so um, I'm going to keep reading that up until the animation drops. But uh, Chainsaw Man fucking do it if you've got uh an evening jump on that and the jump app was um yeah again pretty easy to get through and and just the one thing i had a heads up about was there was one chapter that was removed i think it was chapter 59 go read that elsewhere because it was removed for censorship purposes on on shonen jump um right again this thing is doesn't strike me i wouldn't expect it to be a, a, a a shonen jump uh, 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 you know, in the in, I don't know. I, I my images of you know uh, fucking Dragon Ball, One Piece, and 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 Naruto are are much squeakier clean than what Chainsaw Man does. So, um, yeah. In my history of watching One Piece, the worst thing I ever saw was man, Luffy hit that guy really hard, and he had a big cartoon bump on his head, and he had some teeth blacked out. Ooh, boy, he beat him up real bad. Yeah. No. Uh, Chainsaw Man. Uh, jumped at you and then the things that happen when a chainsaw hits a person happened to you or let's draw that so what you're bit. so what you're saying is that chainsaw man being in shonen jump is similar to oh boy i sure hope i can watch uh, read my new shonen manga like one piece and dragon ball i wonder what's gonna happen and then you turn the page onto something that would look more appropriate in say the the a berserk chapter yeah no if they ever made like so there was the if they ever made a battle stadium d-o-n-c where because like there's battle stadium dragon ball one piece naruto is like an old fighting game if they made dragon ball one piece naruto chainsaw man it would be like luffy goku naruto (laughs) just blood screaming horror death you know uh uh just like (laughs) like I mean, like, there's there's moments where, like, it's like, hey, so while this event in the story is occurring, um, let's just list the names of the collateral damage to the thing that you're looking at over the panels type shit. And you're like, ooh, 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 fuck. Okay, yeah, this is... But you, again, you've already kind of been desensitized to the horror, but it's still finding ways to make it worse, you know? Um, anyways. Well, definitely that sounds like a pleasant cool. read. It's definitely stands out. Stands out uh, uh, from, from my expectations there. So Chainsaw Man, yes. Fucking awesome. yes. Um, I've, I- I've uh, had some, like, middling reviews um, on it from, from people, so, like cool that something that i was 
originally excited to check out is 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 being enjoyed hearing about that. I think I think um there and I, I'm not sure, but if I had to guess, I would guess their main criticisms would be about the finale of the first part and w the way they decide to play that and I I'm very I am made uncomfortable by that finale and I'm hoping that like it will make sense with added time you know I'm but I may like like the things that I could see people complaining about are the finale and I agree that I'm like yeah that's massively uncomfortable um part two might give us some more context for what's up but ultimately um if you don't get any you can kind of just go well they 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 said it's it's fucked up so when it got fucked up that's what was on the tin um 